3D printing is driving innovation across multiple industries, including aerospace and defense, automotive and manufacturing. Analysts have identified this growth industry and expect the global 3D printing market to reach nearly $80 billion in value by 2028. These are the top five 3D printing stocks to watch in 2023. More than 35 years ago, 3D Systems introduced the innovation of 3D printing to the manufacturing industry. Today, as a leading additive manufacturing partner, the company brings innovation, performance, and reliability to every interaction. Its list of customers range from Lucid Motors to Airbus to Ignite Orthopedics. 3D Systems recently expanded its portfolio through the introduction of new production-grade materials that are being engineered for long-lasting mechanical performance and stability. The company says that the new production-grade materials will be ideal for a wide range of end-use applications, ranging from consumer goods to transportation to aerospace. The company expects the new materials to be available in Q4 2022. Shares of 3D Systems trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol DDD. For more information, visit 3dsystems.com. Protolabs is one of the world's leading providers of digital manufacturing services. The e-commerce-based company offers injection molding, CNC machining, 3D printing, and sheet metal fabrication to product developers, engineers, and supply chain teams across the globe. The company serves customers using in-house production capabilities that bring unprecedented speed in tandem with Hubs, a Protolabs company, which serves customers through its network of premium manufacturing partners. Together, they help companies bring new ideas to market with the fastest and most comprehensive digital manufacturing service in the world. Protolab says that it is the world's fastest source for digital manufacturing of prototypes and low-volume production parts, with a turnaround time as low as 15 days. Its customers have the ability to upload 3D CAD models online and receive automated quotes with design feedback and pricing information in as little as a few hours. The interactive analysis helps eliminate potential manufacturability issues before any actual production happens. Once a design is ready, digital instructions are sent to the production floor, where manufacturing begins shortly thereafter. Shares of Protolabs trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol PRLB. For more information, visit protolabs.com. Desktop Metal, a global leader in additive manufacturing 2.0 technologies for mass production, recently announced a new multifaceted partnership aimed at accelerating the adoption of additive manufacturing for production applications with a focus on the world's largest manufacturers. Desktop Metal says that the new collaboration will include multiple aspects of its business and benefit end-users in a variety of ways. The two companies will work on specific industrial-scale projects involving data handling and environmental, health, and safety topics. Additionally, the new partnership will work to promote the benefits of additive manufacturing 2.0 technologies with a focus on BinderJet 3D printing as a key technology solution that can reduce waste, produce more, and build more resilient supply chains. Founded in 2015 by leaders in advanced manufacturing, metallurgy, and robotics, Desktop Metal is addressing the unmet challenges of speed, cost, and quality to make additive manufacturing an essential tool for engineers and manufacturers around the world. Shares of desktop metal trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol DM. For more information, visit desktopmetal.com. Stratasys, a leader in polymer 3D printing solutions, recently signed a definitive agreement to acquire the additive manufacturing materials business of Covestro AG for 43 million euros. The acquisition is expected to be immediately accretive upon closing for Stratasys and includes R&D facilities and activities, 
a global sales team, a portfolio of approximately 60 additive manufacturing materials, and an extensive IP portfolio comprising hundreds of patents and patents pending. Cavistro has been a key part of Stratasys' third-party materials ecosystem, and the acquisition will benefit customers using multiple Stratasys 3D printing platforms, including its Origin P3, Neo Stereolithography, and H350 printers. Stratasys is already a distributor of Covstro's Sumos resins, and they are already available for Neo and Origin 1 3D printers. Stratasys is leading the global shift to additive manufacturing with innovative 3D printing solutions for industries such as aerospace, automotive, consumer products, and healthcare. Through smart and connected 3D printers, polymer materials, a software ecosystem, and parts on demand, Stratasys solutions deliver competitive advantages at every stage in the product value chain. Shares of Stratasys trade on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol SSYS. For more information, visit stratasys.com. Velo 3D announced recently that Hermius, a private company developing hypersonic aircraft for defense and commercial applications, will utilize Sapphire 3D printing equipment to build parts for Hermius, Chimera engine, and quarter horse aircraft. The engine is a turbine-based combined cycle engine that will power Hermes, first aircraft quarter horse, an autonomous aircraft designed to touch high Mach speeds and prove reusability. Hermes has planned quarter horse's first flight for 2023. Velo 3D's metal additive manufacturing technology has seen extensive adoption in the hypersonic and new space industries due to its ability to build the complex, mission-critical parts engineers need without compromising design, quality, or performance. The company says that customers can print existing designs without the need to design the parts for additive manufacturing or obtain specialized training. Velo 3D trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol VLD. For more information, visit velo3d.com. Thanks for watching Greenstock News. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see daily Greenstock News videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.